At the London Zoo, the animals have their own little joke. The giant panda told us he'd never seen anything quite so funny as the humans. And the lions thought so too. That's right, panda. Oh, thanks a lot, lion. There, see what I mean, said the panda. Mr and Mrs Lion thought it was jolly decent of the people, the zoo people, to fix it up so they could see a different lot of two-legged specimens every day. And some of them were very queer. That two-faced woman over there, for instance. What about a little stroll, George? We won't go far because of the children. All right, Nellie, but I do wish there was something worth looking at. As soon as Mum and Dad turn their backs, the kids get up to mischief. But they're only a few weeks old, bless them. And this is what he thinks of the other youngsters outside. Oh, what great big eyes. The Campbells are coming, hurrah, hurrah. And more hurrahs from the kiddies waiting to be taken for a ride. Travelling camelback is no sissy business. Why should a chimp starve while a common ape stuffs himself as full as a sausage? Look at them. Yeah, and look at him. Bert, sorry, Herbert Giraffe is a terrible snob. He thinks all the others are far beneath him. Being a bear isn't so grisly if you can dance. Add a baby. Arms for the love of Allah. Over there, the penguins are sizing up a lot of strange creatures in skirts and trousers. Penelope has the prettiest ankle of them all, and her figures like Venus de Milo, especially after a Milo. He seems to have got something there. He's the king of the castle, the big noise with the small feet. Tingling, penguins, tingling. We'll finish on a musical note.